4th of July will go down as a special day in SMU football history as they made recruiting history. In case you have not heard the news, five-star recruit Jordan Hudson chose to commit to SMU over the likes of Alabama and Texas. While different recruiting sites disagree on where he is ranked, ESPN has him listed as the 12th best player in the class of 2022, and overall he is a high-end four-star recruit and an impact player. In today's video, we're going to talk about how big of a commitment Jordan Hudson is, what he brings to the table, and how this affects SMU. So without further ado, let's get started. Originally, Hudson had decided to take his talents to Oklahoma, but just a few weeks ago, he decided to decommit. He had been committed to the Sooners for over a year, but I guess he decided to look at other options. From there, Texas, SMU, and Alabama all wanted his talents, and the Mustangs needed him especially bad. Coming out of Garland, Texas, Hudson blew up a couple years ago as a sophomore, as he caught nearly 1,300 yards and 19 touchdowns as a sophomore, and followed up with nearly 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns in only 8 games last year as a junior. He is 6'1 and 190 pounds, and is a physically mature receiver with a strong and powerful lower body. A lot of scouts who come from the area compare him to the likes of Michael Crabtree, who in case you did not know, was an absolute superstar at Texas Tech and is also a Dallas area kid. So as I obviously said earlier, it would come down to SMU, Texas, and Alabama. Many people thought it would come down to the Longhorns and the Mustangs, and yesterday in nearly a minute long video, he committed to the Mustangs. To say this is a huge commitment for the program is an understatement. Sonny Dykes has done a great job since he has gotten there and has already elevated the SMU football brand. You gotta give some credit to Chad Morris for helping build the foundation, but Dykes has done a tremendous job, as at one point in 2019, they were playing on a nationally televised game, were undefeated, and were ranked. At the time, Shane Buchel and James Prochet were leading the way for that team, but now they're looking to go in a new direction, as they have a new quarterback to receiver duo to count on in the future. Before Hudson, the highest rated player to ever commit to SMU in the modern recruiting era was a guy named Preston Stone. Stone was a four-star recruit in the 2021 class, and he will likely battle it out with Tanner Mordecai for the starting job. While Stone and Hudson may not lead the Mustangs to new heights next year, the future is very bright with those two. He had 18 Power 5 offers and chose to go to the Group of 5 level, and there are three main reasons why I believe he has decided to do this. First, he grew up less than 20 miles away from campus, so the ability for his family, hometown, and friends to watch every game likely was a big deal to him. He also has a great relationship with one of the recruiting coaches, and he apparently was the guy who sealed the deal. Finally, I'm going to add in my own Part 3 theory, which is NIL. I have no doubt that Hudson could play at any level school, but for someone like him, it could be really smart for his career. He'll get a chance to play right away at SMU, he will be the face of the program, and in terms of the NIL and the amount of exposure he could get from that is tremendous. He'll have a chance to be paid a lot of money for three straight years before going to the NFL, if he's good enough, and the chance to be the face of your hometown school was potentially a bigger deal than playing for a school like Bama or Texas. If NIL did not exist, I don't know if he still would have gone to SMU, but it seems like he really likes the program, and this is a huge deal for the Mustangs program and fans alike. So as I said, according to ESPN, he is ranked number 12 in the country, but according to the 24-7 Sports composite, which I trust the most. They had him rated as a four-star recruit, the number 14 wide receiver, and the 113th best player in the class of 2022. I'm really excited to see what Hudson can do, and let me know what you think of this commitment down in the comment section. Before you go, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, and I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.